Heavy seas finally split the arena in two at the weekend, tumbling containers and other items into the water. Switzer salvage spokesman Matt Watson says conditions are too dangerous at the moment for the crane barge Smit Borneo to get close to the vessel. He says they may need to use long cranes to get containers off from a distance. It could be a possibility that they could get barges up close again and continue taking containers off. That's if the two pieces of the ship remain uh, in place. Matt Watson says once the weather calms down, Southwells will be able to find out whether they can get the boat close enough to the arena again. Meanwhile, container removal company Braemar Howells is trying to round up containers floating in the Bay of Plenty. A spokesman for the company, Grant Dyson, says crews are dealing with the containers that have washed up as well as trying to prevent others from coming ashore. Those containers can be dragged away to anchor points which have been set up offshore. There are 48 anchor points so that you can hitch up a container and leave it floating safely while you go and recover more. Grant Dyson says containers that have washed up on beaches will be dragged or lifted out and then taken to a barge. It's reckoned that up to 40 containers are floating in the water near Waihi Beach, north of Tauranga. Four containers have washed up there already today, two others at nearby Bowen Town. Mr Dyson says they're trying to keep the floating containers out at sea, as well as deal with those on the beaches. The plan, in fact, for those containers on the beach is hopefully to um, get them offshore, possibly lifted by helicopter, and then get them onto a barge once uh, the barge is on the scene. Environmental Minister Nick Smith says it is inevitable that the two broken halves of the arena will eventually break up and sink. A flyover of the wreck this morning showed her condition hasn't worsened to any major extent overnight, but there are continuing heavy swells in the area. Dr Smith says the most likely scenario is that the stern will flip and sink, and he says the bow section open end is now exposed. And the ship's internal structures are just not designed to take the pounding of sort of seven and a half metre swells yesterday, five or six metre swells today. Mm. So in time, it too, that bow section will break up. Nick Smith says he's not particularly optimistic about how many of the remaining 500 or so containers that are still on board the arena can be recovered before that happens. Alan Lee, Rima News.